What's up you guys, hope you're having an awesome day and today I am going to be following or attempting to follow a Bob Ross tutorial on my forehead, on my giant expanse of a forehead, like look at that, look at that bad boy, look how huge that is, ignore my eyes as you may have seen in my last video or if you didn't, uh, I had a lot of black eyeshadow around my eyes so that was yesterday. In terms of filming time, that was yesterday. But in terms of video time, I have no idea how long it's been. But it has not come off properly, so we're just going to work with it. I don't know what eye look I'm going to be doing yet, but I have chosen the Bob Ross tutorial that I want to do. Now, I will disclaim to you guys that I have never like properly watched Bob Ross tutorials before. Like, not until recently, because Bob Ross is an American painter. I am English, we did not have him on TV here. But as an artist, I do I have I have been very interested in his videos and in videos like that anyway. Because I think it's just a cool concept, the fact that in less than half an hour he can do an entire oil painting and tell you how to do an oil painting as well. Like that is absolutely that is actually great. That is amazing. So recently I have been binge watching Bob Ross tutorials and obviously looking at it on Instagram and binge watching on YouTube, like painting, I can't even speak today, Oh, awful. I have been watching a lot of videos and looking at a lot of people's posts of them following a Bob Ross tutorial on their faces, either their whole face, some people do it on their cheeks, some people do it on their forehead, some people do it on their face and on their neck and their chest, wherever. I'm gonna be using my ginormous dome up here um because it's the biggest can it's the biggest canvas space that I have and I can't be bothered to paint on my chest despite the fact that I have a lot of area here as well it's great but yeah I have binge watched a load of his videos and I saved a couple of them and I've decided to do uh his piece called at dawn's light from season 23 it is episode 7 if you are interested to go and see the actual painting tutorial now i will say in pre-editing like we are now i have no idea if i'll be able to put the video in like clips of it and show you guys what i'm following and what i'm watching i don't know if i'm able to do that i'm going to try and work some editing magic <laughs> But if I can't, you will just hear it through here, and obviously I will link the video in the description and everything like that. I mean, this could be a travesty, but if you are actually watching this and you've seen the thumbnail, then welcome, because it was not a train wreck, and it was actually uploaded, and did go well. So, I'm going to stop rambling, and I'm going to get straight into this, so let's do this. Right, you guys, I've somewhat set up. I just kind of have like an array of brushes. I've got some of my Morphe ones, like synthetic and natural ones. I've got some of these like small brushes like this. I'm not going to be going through every single brush I'm going to use or like random tools because I know he uses palette knife to create mountains and I don't know. I'm just going to be using whatever I've got. I encourage you to use whatever you've got. In terms of paints, I am going to be using my Stazeru paints because I don't have anything else. Uh, I don't have many colours. I have the primary colours, so I can mix any colour from that. I do actually have a green, just in case there are green trees in this. I don't think there are. And obviously I have black and white to lighten or darken any of those colours. And I have a Morphe, not Morphe, I'm dropping it everywhere. Is it on Morphe? Is Mayron. <laughs> yeah, I have a Mayron bruise wheel as well. So the green and the brown and that might come in handy in there. So I've got my water, I've got my brushes, I've got everything like that. I have my phone set up on the brightest setting and I have it plugged in as well so it shouldn't die halfway through. Um, my phone is on silent as well so any messages that come through shouldn't interrupt, which hopefully should happen. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear this on the volume on here, uh, 
like I said, I still don't know if I'm going to put in a clip or anything like that. I am going to lean slightly to the side when I'm watching this to just in case the editing me works out how to do it and actually gets the clip up there and like the audio and everything for you guys to watch. So oh, it's time to start. I'm actually quite nervous. So this is At Dawn's Light. Hi, welcome right. back. Certainly glad you could join us today. I thought today we'd just do a fantastic little scene that I believe you'll enjoy. I know what I'm gonna do. I have a speaker that I can connect this to and it is conveniently balancing my camera. No, that's not what it's doing. We're gonna set this up, set this bad boy up so that I can actually hear it and hopefully you guys can hear it as well. That should work. I don't know. We'll find out. Right guys, it is set up, it is working. I believe this speaker is going to work so I have it on my desk on the right to me. So it might, it might come through your right headphone, I don't know, but we're, we're gonna try. We're, we're low budget on this channel, so let us start finally. Hi, welcome back. Certainly glad you could join us today. I thought today we'd just Hi, do Bob. a fantastic little scene that I believe you'll enjoy. So let's start out and have them run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint along okay, with Okay, titanium white. And while they're doing that, let me show you what I've got done up here. I have my standard Prussian old blue. Of a 24 inch canvas, but Midnight black. Size is convenient. Dark so sienna, I've got brown. With a thin, even and like brown. With white. So it's already Crimson. I thought Yellow. today would be the painting that you see at the beginning of the show, the little Red. winter scene, where the little painter man runs into it. So, I'll show you how that one's made. Let's start out today, we'll use the old two inch brush with a little bit of the bright red and just a small amount of cad yellow. I'll make a nice orange color. Okay. So we have bright red. And... Okay, I'm gonna pause it a moment. So, uh, like I said, don't have all the colors, trying. Uh, it looks like he's mixing red and yellow. So I'm going to, and for my two inch brush, what am I gonna use for my two inch brush? I mean, this is just gonna kind of be for the background, I think. So do I have something a little bit bigger? Hmm. I'm gonna quickly look in my arsenal of rubbish brushes as well, just to see if I've got anything bigger. Give me a second. Right guys, I now have an arsenal of brushes on my lap and I do actually have a bigger flat packing brush. So I'm going to use my two inch brush. Uh, yeah. Before I continue playing, it looks like he's mixing red and yellow to make an orange. So I'm going to start mixing and then continue playing it and see where he goes from there. I'm actually going to zoom you guys in a bit so you can actually see my forehead. Tilt the camera up a bit and zoom in on that dome. Is that a good angle? It's probably not a good angle. But anyway, we're going to go with this anyway. I think we're going to go with this angle. I think that's a good angle. Right, so good old water. I've actually got purple in my um, thing. I'm going to use the inside of the yellow to create and like use it as a palette because I can just wipe these out afterwards. Let's kind of look at Right, we're going to continue playing. Just a little cad yellow, something about like so. And you can just mix these on the brush. All right, let's go right up in here. And maybe somewhere about along in here, we'll just start and make a little orangey circle. Something about like so. Ah, Bob pause. I don't have my color yet. Ah. I don't know if this is the right orange. This is the kind of orange I have going on at the moment. Maybe I'll smidge in more of a red. I think that's good. Okay, so he's creating a circle kind of in the middle of the canvas. So. I am going to do a mirror image of this guy, so whatever he's doing on the right side of the canvas, I'm going to do on the right side of my face. Whether that will translate the same on camera, I don't know, because I'm not I'm not thinking about that. Um, but yeah, I, I, that's just the way I'm going to do it. So. We might even reflect a little of that down into the water. I don't want too much. Now, take a little yellow ochre. That's definitely not dark it. enough. Right, so he's definitely doing it more to the right. It's not too bad of a colour. I know why it's not translating well. I was going to prime my face. I was going to prime my head with with white. Ugh! I'm going to quickly do that off camera because I'm... Yeah, I'm just terrible. 
I mean, it's not a bad colour, but I don't think it's going to show up properly on my skin tone here. So I'm going to quickly prime that. Right, guys, we've primed our canvas, <laughs> finally. And he's kind of going... I, I think I made that bit a bit too big anyway. He's kind of going, like, this area here. And creating the sky kind of area here. How does he do this? I'm baffled by how he does this already. So we have that. Oh well, this is going too big already. Don't like this. Let, let's just play it and continue, see what Bob does. Cut together, just so it changes the flavor a little bit. Yellow ochre and bright red. And okay. Go up here, and we'll add just a little bit of that right around in here. So I'm stuck. Just so it changes the flavor. There. Okay. Now then. I'm going to wash the old brush, because that's the fun part. Put a little lead right there. Let's wash her off. And we just wash our brushes with odorless paint thinner. And as you've heard me say before, I really, really recommend that it's odorless. <laughs> and then just beat the devil out of it. Beat the devil out of it. I don't know how this is going, guys. Um, not feeling confident right now. Ah, uh, I feel like I've made this too big already. Bob, you're not helping. Ha, <sighs> right. Now then, let's go right into a little bit of the alizarin crimson. Just a little crimson. Crimson. We'll just use the same old two inch brush. And let's go right up in here. And we'll just drop in a little bit of the crimson color. And I'm using little crisscross strokes, little X's. That makes it much easier to blend later on. We'll come back and we'll blend this entire sky. Okay, he's going all around the area that we've just done. I'm hoping the key to this is that it's going to look so much better once we've um, done the rest of it. I'm hoping we just kind of put some mountains and some trees over it and then it'll it'll look much better. <sighs> Future me is probably like, why were you worrying, Elena? Like, it looked great at the end, but I do not have the power of hindsight. So, this is not turning out the best currently. Just crimson. I mean, I've got the size right at the moment. It's looking like it's going to blend. Without washing the brush, I'll take a little alizarin crimson and Prussian blue. And once again, just mix them on that. Just mix them right on the brush, no big deal. Crimson and blue. Make a okay, nice so he's making lavender color. And we can go up in here. Lavender. Okay, we need lavender. Oh my gosh. Bob, slow down. Ah, where's the water gone? Alright, so we have without washing the brush, so I take a little bit of that blue and mix it on the red there. That's a lavender colour. Yeah. Okay, so he's going all around. So he's going. Yeah, lavender. A little bit of that. And we'll pull a little bit down here in, in what's eventually going to be water. There. A little touch more for the other side. Prussian glue. Oh, it's really crimson. Something like that. And then a little bit more of the Prussian blue, a lizard and crimson, and I'm going to add a small amount of black to it. All we're doing is making this progressively darker as it works out. That's all we're trying to do. So we have black, crimson, and blue now. But we want to make it quite a bit darker. There. Okay. And we'll just fill up the rest of the sky with that. Okay. Okay, add a little bit of black. Not too bad. Okay. Um... Uh, innate confidence is back. Uh, we are, I'm adding a little bit of black each time. Is this dark enough, Bob? Nope, that's not dark enough. We need more black. Is that dark enough? Is it dark enough, Bob? Something like so. And a little touch right in there. And maybe a little touch where our water's going to be too. 
Oh, okay, that's better. Ooh, that's quite pretty already. It's just got very nice colors in there. Now then, let me wash the old brush again. Okay, so he didn't go all the way down on this side, but he is putting it down this way. I think I need a bit more black. Yeah, that's better. I don't know how this is going to bend, Mom, but I'm trying. I'm trying really hard. I'm just kind of using the same brush over and over. I mean, it didn't look too bad. Like, I'm just a perfectionist, you guys, so I'm just kind of like patting these edges quickly just to blend them a little bit. Oh, it might not matter. Who knows? Right, let's continue. I just like to wash the brush. There. Beat the devil out of it, Bob. And off we go. And that really dries the brush quite dry. There. Now. I don't have a bar on my table today. I just want to start in the center and begin blending outward. Okay. Just blend. Okay, so he is blending outward, so I'm taking my little like, weird cloth thing just to wipe my brush off. I'm going to spray it with a bit of water and we are going to start blending. I'm just going to pat the edges out instead of rubbing them. But it takes a lot of fantastic people. Oh, okay, he's painting a very small tree. Right, um, okay, so I've mixed up the kind of lavendery shade and I'm going to take a little bit more of the darker one and I am actually going to make that one a dark one next to it again. Oh, I don't know if that brush will work. Uh, fan brush. The smallest fan brush that I own is this. And this is not going to create the size of tree that we want. This is not going to make Bob proud. So, uh, oh, I can't, I don't want to use like a fine angled brush and just like draw it on. Like, so I think I'm going to use this small Morphe brush that I have here. Because it's natural bristles, it's kind of like a little bit feathery. So, right guys, we, oh, we do, I just stop recording it then. <coughs> I'm still a bit ill as well, which is lovely. Right, where the hell is he painting this tree? I'm just going to go back 10 seconds. Where are you painting this tree, Bob? Little opening. But it'll be very close. It'll show you how we made that. It only takes a few minutes to paint that little opening. Okay, so he's but painting it, it kind of like here. People, nearly all day to produce that little 30 second thing that you see. That was the brain challenge. Where, how big is that tree going? Like, is it, it's kind of going here. Oh, wow, well, I think that's too much already. That doesn't even look like a tree. That looks nothing like Bob's tree. Ah, no, don't tell me I've ruined the perfectly good blend on the outside. Right, guys, we are going to cheat and we are going to use, like, a small brush like that. Not that one, because that one's not small enough. Yep, there we go. We're going to use this. We're going to go into that colour anyway. Bob, this isn't looking right. Bob, this is not going well. Right, guys, I've gone in and finessed the trees on that a little bit just because I wasn't happy with the way they looked. Um, I'm a bit happier now, but I'm just going to continue and we are going to see how this plays out. Bob, stop doing trees. You know I'm bad at trees. <laughs> That's not dark enough, is it? to make it darker my goodness he's made a reflection on it Bob stop slow down oh, we're not even halfway through right right wait we can do this come on I know you can do this you are you are a painter anyway you're an artist Right guys, I underestimated how much space and how long this was actually going to take. So I'm going to have to whiz, kind of whiz through the rest of this video because I don't have much space left on my SD card and this is all that's on it. So, and I don't have another one. So I am literally going to have to whiz through the rest of this and obviously I'll, have to, I'll whiz through my eye makeup afterwards anyway. I'll just kind of do like a time lapse, like bits here and there. But you've kind of got the gist of me failing at this. So... Yeah, that's where that's where we go from here.
I did it. I've done something that somewhat looks like what Bob did. Okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's just the outro. Okay, uh, I think... I think I'm done. I think I did it. Guys, I, th I, think, I, I think I did it. I think I actually did it. Like... It looks like a winter scene. Like... This side's a bit jacked and these trees at the back look a little bit weird. But like... I think I've done it. Right guys, I'm going to... Take the paint off my nose. And I'm going to quickly do some eye makeup and I'll be back for the outro. So there we have it you guys, this is the final look, this is how it turned out. Uh, I kind of went with kind of like the same colour scheme on my eyes, so like the oranges and yellows like the colour of the sky, and a little bit of purple just to bring it all together. I think I, I think I did quite well, obviously I, I didn't go right to the edge of my face, and didn't go right to the other edge as well, so it is just kind of like on the front. But looking at it now and looking at it in the monitor as well i think i did really well i mean not only was i using cheap paints like the go a bit weird anyway but it's on my forehead as well so i'm i'm actually really impressed with how this came out i'm really happy with how it turned out and i hope you guys are impressed as impressed with me as i am <laughs> But yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it wasn't too long to watch. I know I didn't film most of the end of it because I'm actually running out of space. And I'm actually really conscious that this outro might cut off and I have no idea when it might. So I'm just going to finish this video to say don't forget to like and subscribe. And let me know down in the comments what else you want to see me do. And if you want to see me do another painting tutorial on my face, I'm up for doing another one. But I am conscious to keep my SD card completely free of stuff. But yeah, so that is it you guys and until next time I will see you in the next video.